welcome back to my channel I'm back here today with a video on how I style old dirty hair or you can I, think, I guess you can kind of class these as a back to school hairstyles whatever you want to call it this is one of the styles I did amongst a couple others so um, don't forget to like this video if you do like comment and subscribe to make sure you're up to date with all of my videos I've been posting a lot more regularly now if you haven't noticed but I hope that you actually enjoyed this video and that you get some you know, good tips on how to like slay your hair for school, or, like slay old hair or you know, just keep it, keep it cute. Just whenever my hair's really dirty or really old, I just, I lose definition in the front like all the time. So this just makes your hair like still look cute and you can just still slay. Like who doesn't want to slay and don't even have to try it. But these are really simple, really easy. They can be done in like, I don't know, like 15, 10 minutes. <laughs> Depends, you know, how long you want to lay your edges down for. But this is an old wash and go, just in case you didn't know. This is probably like day three or four hair, I forget. So this is number one, guys. And all you're going to need for most of the styles is a bottle of, bottle of water. Jeez, Louise. <sighs> you're going to need a spray bottle some leave-in conditioner, some eco salad gel or whatever gel you want to use, um, a ball bristle brush, some hair ties and a toothbrush if you want to lay your edges down and a scarf to lay them down as well. So here all I'm doing is sectioning um, the front part of my hair or as much as you want. I just do a fair amount so I still have some volume in the back and then I'm just, I'm just going to section off the back section so that it doesn't get in my way and then just spray some water just to make my hair damp and then I'm going to apply quite a generous amount of leave-in conditioner because I like to my hair to be moisturized and not feel crunchy then i'm going to put quite a generous amount of gel i'm not going to lie guys i do use quite a lot of gel because i want my edges to lay flat then i'm going to use my ball bristle brush and this is the key to making sure your edges are completely laid and i'm gonna um just brush it back like a couple of times to really 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 make sure that it's completely laid and there aren't any flyaways or crazy looking pieces of hair and then even as i try and tie my hair up i'm just gonna brush it through again and then I'm going to tie my hair I'm going to put, put it through about three times and then I'm going to section that off just so I can like lay down my edges and using a toothbrush and some gel this is optional is what I do if you guys want like a more in-depth tutorial of how I like me really explaining how I lay down my edges just let me know down below and I'll make sure to do that because I made one quite a couple of months ago or a year ago I don't even remember and I mean it's updated since then so yeah just let me know and then I'm just going to use um, my toothbrush to also drag to also continue to lay down my hair by like just sliding it all down and then I'm just going to use a head scarf to lay down my hair so I'm going to just put this on for about a good 20 minutes and whilst this is going on I'm just going to use some coconut oil and I'm just going to rub that through my hair because by now my hair is really dry <laughs> And then after like a good 20 minutes, I'm just gonna take off the scarf and reveal to you my hair. <laughs> this was really requested in my other, one of my other videos. So I thought I would just show all of my dirty hair or back to school style videos because I feel like these are both good for back to school as well as just restyling old hair. Look at those edges though. And then this is just like an alternative. If you don't want all that hair in your face, you can just put your hair into a bun. So literally all I do is I twist my hair one way and then I wrap it around and then I use a hair tie and just like secure it in place. So it's really simple. This counts as two looks. Aha. This is actually the day after and I got caught in the rain so literally my hair is so frizzy there's no definition definition so all about all I'm gonna do to create this like high top bun is just 
spritz my hair with water, making sure it's damp all over in the front and the back. Then I'm just going to put in some leave-in conditioner as per usual and then some um, hair gel, you can style a gel. And then I'm just going to use my um, ball bristle brush. <laughs> I'm really working to smooth that in. Literally try and slick my hair all the way up. Like just slick it, including the back. Just slick it up, slick it up, slick it up. This really aches my arms, guys. I'm not gonna lie. And I'm gonna try and tie it up, and that is a struggle. Like, bruh, my arms were dead. But yeah, I'm literally just slicking. Even though I have my hair in a ponytail, I'm still gonna slick it up just to make sure it's extra, extra, extra slick. And then I'm just gonna use a hair tie to secure a ponytail into place. And then we're gonna continue to make the bun. So to make the bun, I literally just wrap my hair. I'm not sure if I'm saying this well, but hopefully you can see. I kind of like wrap it around itself. And then I just use a hair tie and then just secure it into place. And that's pretty much it. So it's like kind of a cute, messy bun. Then I'm gonna, of course, lay down my edges. And of course, if you guys want a tutorial, as I said before, just let me know. And in depth one, I'll really tell you and like show you how I get my edges to look the way they do. Then I'm gonna just use my headscarf and then just tie my edges, edges down in them. After a good 20 minutes, voila, that is it. And if you have some strange marks, just use your beat blender and blend it away. So that's the bun. I'm gonna transition to the low pony and normally I wouldn't obviously do this in in just one sitting I would do this like the next day so the gel would have been removed but hey but this is what we're gonna work with so I'm just gonna spritz my hair with water as per usual add some leave-in then add some gel then really work to smooth my hair all the way back because obviously it was in a bun so trying to stick this down after it being in bun was a bit difficult but I still tried my best like normally it would be a lot sticker because my hair wouldn't have previously been in the bun like using gel so I just truly really worked to use the right amounts of water leave-in conditioner and gel and just really smooth my hair all the way back using that ball bristle brush and my fingers and then I'm just gonna work it into a low ponytail and then my arms <laughs> hopefully they don't give up just gonna secure it into a low ponytail then obviously I'm gonna lay my edges and it's they're somewhat laid from the bun because I really like literally just laid my edges down but I'm just gonna just you know really work it in with the toothbrush as well to lay down my hair flat and then I'm just gonna cover my entire head with this head scarf and leave that on for a good like 20 minutes to make sure that's all dry and set and then that is it that's the sleek low ponytail which is super cute and it's good for like you know corporate events if you have like work I think this is a good work hairstyle as well and then literally to transition this to a low bun I'm just gonna twist the hair on itself and then wrap it around and then secure it into a bun and then literally that's it and that's I guess that's cool for like corporate events quite cute right but yeah that's literally all the styles guys thank you so much for watching if you haven't already watched my wash and go tutorial here is one i'm um, using the beautiful textures the wash and go i did in this video was using giovanni and i'll update you with that